Namaste, dear students. I welcome you all for the course Knowledge and Curriculum. The first unit of Knowledge and Curriculum deals with the concept of knowledge. In this module, we are going to look into the epistemology, meaning, philosophical basic of knowledge according to the Indian and Western philosophy. This is Dr. V. Girija, Professor and Head School of Education, Ways Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Study. Let us look into the meaning of knowledge. Before that, being student teachers, you might all have heard about saying knowledge is power. Do you really know what it means? Before that, let, us, uh, let me narrate a story to understand what knowledge is all about. There was a small village in the southern part of India where a rich fisherman lived. He was the owner of many giant ships. One day something went wrong with one of his uh, favorite ship's engine and the ship was, wreck, uh, was stuck. He hired an expert uh, ship engineer to repair it, but of no use. At last someone reminded him of Satish, an old man who had been repairing ships ever since he was a kid. Satish came fully prepared to figure out the problem. After looking things over, he pulled out a small hammer from his old bag and gently tapped something. Immediately, the engine started to work. A week later, Satish sent a bill to the owner of rupees 20,000. The rich fisherman was surprised and asked Satish to send an item-wise bill for the work. Satish immediately sent the details showing rupees 6 for tapping and rupees 19,995 for uh, knowing where to talk. So, from this story, from this narration of the story, we can really understand knowing is where to make an effort is nothing but knowledge. Let us know. Uh, move on to uh, know or ponder over what knowledge is. Knowledge is always concerned about knowing something. This something could be natural objects, man-made things, events, processes, persons, their effectives, their activities, their relationships and many others. All of these and many other objects of knowledge may collectively be called as phenomena. Therefore, knowledge always refers to comprehension of some or the other phenomenon. Knowledge is the sum total of human understanding of the world and be it physical, biological, social, mental and spiritual. In simple but generalized way, knowledge is uh, the sum of human understanding of material and mental reality given and constructed. The acquisition of knowledge or the build-up of knowledge is by its very nature always refers to a process or the road from ignorance to knowledge. From not knowing things to knowing them, the transition from lack of knowledge to acquisition of the same is shaped by the human activity, which involves seeking lack of relation with the phenomenon to seeing the relation with phenomenon. Knowledge, the noun, is used in different contexts and situations to convey different meaning to different people. Knowledge has different aspects, kinds and levels and knowledge in common sense understanding is understanding signifies uh, that all the human may be meanings, beliefs about matters of facts, things, objects or even about relationships between facts and about principles, laws, theories that are at work in the nature of society. Knowledge is understanding about relationships and the relationship of the knower with the known. In other words, it is the relationship of the subject with the object and knowledge is the result of the knower, knower's active engagement with the object of knowledge. From this uh, story's narration, we can very easily understand what knowledge is. Knowledge and its intensity based on the relationship between the knower and the known and further knowledge is uh, understood in terms of enlightenment. The, in Indian tradition, the, it considers it as a breaking the wheel of ignorance. In practice, knowledge is a claim in the sense that the knower proclaims that he or she is aware of the phenomenon. 
This is to say that having knowledge of the phenomenon means both being aware of that phenomenon and also starting that, stating that the awareness is true. In the school context, the knowledge is the aim or is the sum of uh, conceptions, ideas, laws and propositions established and tested as correct reflections of the phenomenon. Let us look into the meaning of knowledge. Knowledge is a familiarity, awareness or understanding of someone or something, such as facts, information, descriptions or skills, which is required through experience or education, by perceiving, discovering and learning. Knowledge involves cognitive abilities of an individual acting on information obtained through sensory perceptions and experiences. Knowledge may result from education as well. Knowledge can refer to a theoretical or a practical understanding of a subject. It can be implicit as with a practical skill or expertise or explicit as with a theoretical understanding of a subject. It can be more or less formal or systematic. Philosophy's core is the theory of knowledge and it is the formation of science. Plato, the Greek philosopher, defined knowledge as the justified true belief. Knowledge is familiarity or understanding of a particular skill and bench of uh, learning. Knowledge acquisition involves complex cognitive process like perception, communication and reasoning while knowledge is said to be the related to the capacity of knowledge acknowledgement in human beings. John Buto Scotus, Scottish philosopher and theologian, proposed in his philosophy two acts of knowledge, the abstractive and the intu intuitive. The intuitive knowledge is the knowledge of a thing of things present and existing as it is present and existing. Abstractive knowledge, on the other hand, can be had on an of an object whether it is present or not and whether it is existing or not. Philosophers all over the world have pondered over the question what is knowledge for a quite a long time. It has been discussed to such an extent that the product of the thinking has resulted in a branch of the discipline of philosophy and this is that is called epistemology. Several questions related to the concept of knowledge have been dealt with under this subject and the word knowledge has its roots in the Greek word gnosis, a word that uses the same same root is recognized and we know what we recognize. So we recognize experience and being it is in the realm of knowledge. There is another version which says that the word comes from the earlier verb from to no, from which knowing or the word knowledge has was derived. The Sanskrit word jnan meaning to know, knowledge is derived from the root jnan meaning to know or to be aware of. Another origin of the word goes to the term jnana which has come from the Pali language word hang. It has a wide range of applications such as sensation, perception, self-realization, inference, verbal testimony, doubt, illusion, error, memory, etc. Jnana in Advaita Vedanta philosophy, knowledge means Brahman. It has a wide range of applications such as sensation, perception, self-realization, inference, verbal testimony, doubt, illusion, error, mem memory, etc. Jnana in Advaita, Veda Advaita Vedanta philosophy has a spiritual connotation and is closely related to the knowledge of Brahman. Real knowledge is that which leads to the knowledge of Brahman. Real knowledge is that which leads to the knowledge of Brahman and false knowledge is that which deviates from one such transcendent knowledge of Brahman. The dictionary meaning helps us to have more charity of the term. According to Merriam Webster, according to Merriam Webster, knowledge is the fact or condition of knowing something with familiarity gained through experience. It is the sum, to sum of what is known, the body of truth, information, principles acquired by a human mind. The Cambridge English Dictionary also gives more or less similar meaning. Knowledge is understanding of or information about a subject that one gets by experience or study. Either known by one person or by people generally, like her knowledge of English grammar is very extensive. The Oxford Dictionary, it defines knowledge as facts, information and skills acquired through experience or education. The theoretical or practical understanding of a subject, for example, she has considerable knowledge of antics. 
The Macmillan Dictionary explains knowledge as all the facts that someone knows about a particular subject. For example, the teacher's comments are designed to help improve your knowledge and understanding. Can you identify the common factor of knowledge in these expressions? It is the information gained through human experience. As we previously saw, quite a lot of effort has been made to define the term and of course, there is some common consensus about basic criteria of knowledge. Let us analyze those definitions and understand the vast efforts to define the term. An attempt to understand knowledge as defined by philosophers will certainly help uh, add to our understanding of the term. John Locke, the founding father of empiricism, defined knowledge as the perception of the agreement or disagreement of two ideas. For Tacitus, who was a participant in Plato's dialogue, a Greek thinker, knowledge is true belief with an account. John Dewey, instead of defining, tries to explain knowledge in his own way. He was anti-intellectualist and does not accept what intellectualists perceive about knowledge. According to intellectualists, knowledge is something totally certain which can be realized by contemplation by a mind that it is at most contingently embodied working on its own. For Dewey, knowledge is made of constructed with the aid of conceptual instruments of human design by an intelligent but embodied organism that is a natural part of the world, who is engaged in its undertaking as a collaborating member of a society of intelligent organisms of the same kind. To make it simpler, Knowledge is constructed by people who are lively and functional in society. Those people are responsible for constructing knowledge. Socrates defines knowledge as absolute truth. He believes that everything in the universe is uh, innately connected. If one thing is known, then possibly everything can be derived from that one truth. For, so for Socrates, the relationship between all virtuous acts is what virtue is fundamentally. The person can see virtuous act but cannot see virtue. Due to this, the idea of virtue must exist somewhere independent of the perceivable world. This is true with all the forms, the ideas of Socrates or ideas of perfection. They are, the, they are something that cannot be known by human sense but reasoned out by individual human thought. This is the real knowledge and it is independent. For Francis Bacon, knowledge is power. The most accepted definition of knowledge is by Plato. Knowledge is justified by belief. Is justified belief. For information philosophy, knowledge is information created and stored in minds and in human articrafts like stories, books and internet worked on computers. And knowledge is actionable information that forms the basis for thoughts and actions. With the help of the above descriptions, we can say knowledge means what is or can be known by an individual or by the humankind. Or by the humankind. Knowledge applies to the facts or ideas acquired by study, investigation, observation or experience. And let us understand the traditional definition of knowledge. Traditionally, according to philosophers, to call anything as a piece of knowledge, it should be full, it should fulfill three conditions. They are belief, truth and justification. For example, on Monday, Bharat says, Tuesday it is going to be a solar eclipse, it is a belief. To consider this as a knowledge, the first criterion is that Bharat believes it to be the new question is how Bharat says so. As his close friend told him that it is going to be so, this tells us that just believing something will not qualify it as knowledge. Therefore, the second condition that it should be true. Truth is not in the head, but out there. The statement, Tuesday it is going to be the solar eclipse, is true if there is a solar eclipse on Tuesday. Believing is internal. Truth is external. If the seed of knowledge is belief, what turns belief into knowledge? This is where the justification comes in. Comes in. Some philosophers use the term warrant 
to refer to this element. A person knows something if they are justified in believing it to be true and the person should justify this statement may be by presenting conditions of the sky on the previous day of the eclipse in the sky, which has been already justified in the past and witnessing the same conditions on the previous day. The plausibility of justification should be there. Therefore, there are three criteria to consider something as knowledge. They are belief, truth and justification. Knowledge is habitually defined as a belief that it is true and justified. Philosopher Plato famously defined knowledge as justified true belief. On the other hand, knowledge is, the, is a familiarity, awareness of understanding of someone or something such as facts, information, description or skills which acquired through experiences or education by perceiving, discovering or learning. On comparing knowledge and wisdom, knowledge is the accumulation of facts and information and wisdom is the synthesis of knowledge and experiences into insights that deepen one's understanding of relationship and the meaning of life. Education is really a means to discover new things which we don't know about and increase our knowledge. Hence, it is important to provide effective teaching learning experience by means of constructing productive curriculum. In developing curriculum, all the foundations, say philosophical, psychological and sociological foundations of the development of curriculum should be accommodated with respect to the barrier learners of the learners and the society. Educators, curriculum makers and teachers must have promoted philosophies that are deemed necessary for planning, implementing and evaluating a school curriculum. This philosophical foundation defines the purpose of the school, the important subject to be taught, the kind of learning students must have and uh, how they can acquire them, the instructional material, methods and the strategies to be used and how students will be evaluated. It is found that curriculum is influenced by psychology and psychology provides information about the teaching and learning process. Thus, this psychological foundation seeks answers to as to how the curriculum is organized in order to achieve students learning at the optimum level and as to what amount of information they can observe in learning the various contents of the curriculum. Education takes place in the society and education is essentially a social process and lifelong process and social environment educates the child education as a social role to play. Since the society is dynamic, there are many developments which are difficult to cope with and, adjust, and to adjust to. Hence, sociological foundations of curriculum helps in developing democratic skills and values in students and further we will discuss next about the importance of knowledge and with its acquisition, modes of education and its scope and determinants of curriculum with its foundations.